meet a new patient, I usually ask them, when did you first notice your bladder? Because most of us walk around and our bladders are off the radar screen. But I meet a lot of patients, older ladies, younger ladies, men, where they have a sensation of their bladder all the time. There's some pressure, they have a need to urinate more frequently, maybe getting up more at night, where normally this should be quiet. Now sometimes that could start from after having repeated infections. It can be due to stress, just like a stomach inflammation or irritation. Sometimes for women, when they have lower estrogen, even the pollens, when there's a histamine release, even up above our sinus area, it can trigger a histamine release in the bladder area, which can cause a problem with the bladder lining, causing that feeling of pressure, I gotta go to the bathroom frequently. Consequences of not treating this bladder inflammation Part of it is the suffering of the patient, uh, having this bladder that's aggravating them all the time. And so it does affect their work and their family and their lifestyle. In fact, it's almost like the bladder training them, where they know where every bathroom in town is. And why would you want to have your bladder train you? You want to train your bladder. There's no long-term consequences for most people, but you want to get it treated. I have met people that have had issues from their teens or 20s and now they're in their 50s. Over time, going to the bathroom frequently, you sometimes start having a smaller bladder capacity and that can be corrected after treatment. When I meet someone who's having problems with their bladder, I do a full physical exam and a urinalysis. Um, we also might check an ultrasound to see if they're emptying out their bladder completely. After the exam, we we'll talk about the different options for treatment. If we see signs of possible infection or blood in the urine, we want to treat the infection, and sometimes we can do a cystoscopy here in the office. We do have medications both over-the-counter, say low-acid aloe vera capsules or the prescription medicines that we use for the bladder lining. If they've been having problems for a year, two years, five years, ten years, it might take a little bit longer on the medication. But typically everybody can return to a normal bladder almost across the board. We have very good recovery rates.